गाइस आई होप यू आर डूइंग गुड वेलकम टू दिस न्यू वीडियो टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू सॉल्व द फ्रंट एंड इंटरव्यू क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम द ड्रॉप बॉक्स सो इफ यू सी ऑन द स्क्रीन दिस इज बीइंग पोस्टेड बाय एनोनिमस यूजर दैट दिस टू क्वेश्चंस वर आस्क्ड ऑन द फोन स्क्रीन राउंड वन इज टू इंप्लीमेंट द क्लासिक गेट बाय क्लास नेम मेथड एंड अनदर इज अडॅप्टेशन और डेरिवेशन ऑफ द गेट बाय क्लास नेम व्हिच इज गेट बाय क्लास नेम हायरार्की so let's see what these two questions are and then i'll in this video i'll implement the get by class name and in the next video i will try to implement this get by class name hierarchy so the get by class name is the simple we are given a dom structure and a class and we have to find all the elements that has that class so a single dom element can have multiple classes so all we have to do is evaluate and check if the class is present in the class list of the dom element if it is present we have to return then so if you see over here here they have this method get ids of all the dom elements so this is the class we have to create get by class name it starts from the root and then we have to find all the class all the dom element that has the class a so here um, this the first entry point itself the, has the class a so with the id root then this dom element has class a with id a2 and then this dom element has the class a which is with the id a3 so so in the output you see row root a2 and a3 now similar to this there is get by class name hierarchy so get get by class name hierarchy accepts the css selector only the single selector so uh, it's not the complete list of the selectors that are available for the css only the forward arrow selector so i think this is the immediate child selector that we have to pass and here if you see it has to return the b class that is under the a class so in the list if you see the root is a and then its child is b so we have to return the b that is under a so in the final in the output we get uh, the dom element with the id b1 similarly here b with the child a so there is uh, no element present as such in the dom structure that's why it has written empty array similarly a under sorry c under a so this is the c under a with the id c minus 3 so let's see how we can implement the first um, the classic one get by class name and then we'll move to the get by class name hierarchy in the next video so let me copy this dom structure from here and let's move to the code pen i have pasted the pasted the structure here and now if you see so we have the dom ready and now let's start implementing our solution so all we have to do is we have to implement get or let's say get by class name and this will take the root and the class so a and here we have to find the root so let's say document dot get element by id root so we have found the root we will be passing the root over here and it will start the um, checking the dom list from the root and then it will check for all the dom that has the class a present in the class list and then it will return that so let's start implementing this class name here we will follow a dfs approach so we are going to traverse the dom starting from the entry or the root element that has been provided and we'll go deep to the depth first and then to the breadth so in the depth first search what we'll be doing is we'll starting from the root we'll go till the end let's say this is the end for this structure we'll go to d1 and then we'll explore the siblings so let's start implementing this const get by class name and here we are expecting root and class so root is provided to us now here i'm creating a helper function inside the class name because i'll be recursively traversing the dom you can also traverse the dom iteratively but i find it uh, simple and you know extremely helpful to work with the recursion 
that's my preference you can also try or explore doing it with the iterative approach so this will take a node as the input and it will return an array of nodes that has the class so because this is a inner function we can access the parent function variables it's forming a closure so we can directly access the c inside this search that's why i'm not passing it explicitly i'm only interested in iterating the dom so that's why i'm only accepting the node now here we'll add a simple check so on the uh, nodes in the dom we have class list class list returns us the array of classes that a node has and in that we'll use the contains method and check if the given class that we are expecting is present or not if it is present then we'll add the current dom to the result sorry current node to the result and after that we'll iterate all the child of the current node so again we have this property available dot children that returns us the array of all the child element that current node has and we can iterate all the children and recursively i'll check for all the childs if they have the class or not and all those child if they have children so they will recursively call themselves again and then check again so this will go for all the node elements in the dom structure and here because if you see our search so the structure of the search is it returns a array of matching dom that has the classes that's why i am assigning a variable over here it will return us the array and to that so let me or what let me convert this to let because i have to reassign the values i have to merge the result so here we'll get the existing result and with this we'll merge whatever we get in the recursive search so once the search is done we are returning the result here so that's it that's our helper functions job it will iterate through all the dom elements and it will check for each element if the given class is present in the class list or not so this will return us the matching element with the class name and finally at the end of our parent function here we'll invoke the search and we'll start with the root element so that's it that's the simplest implementation to traverse and get all the elements on the dom with the given class name if i run this let's see if it is working or not unexpected identifier result so let result is there here result dot push and here i am returning the result this error okay sorry it's return spelling mistake let me run this again and you see we are getting the whole dom list in the output so if i inspect and i show you in the console here see you, we are getting three array elements root a2 and a3 now because it is uh, returning the complete node itself that's why it's not uh, readable over here let me change the output little bit rather than returning the complete node in the list what i'll do is i'll just return the ids of them so if i clear this again and if i run this we should only get the ids of the node elements in the output so root a2 and a3 now for the class with the a that's what we are expecting root a2 and a3 if i search for b so b has b1 only b1 so let's try with the b see what we are getting so b1 that's what we have let's try for the d's for d we have d1 and d2 so d if i run this 
we are getting d1 and d2 so that's it that's the simplest implementation of this see you in the next video in the next video we'll solve the second one so we'll uh, try to implement this get by class name hierarchy